A Gaia and Ubuntu. Welcome to this Nova Sutra's Equinox celebration. If you can, please start this session at 1.30 UTC on September 23rd. That's 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on September 22nd. That way you can be part of our global synchronized meditation. You'll want to arrange yourself for a meditation session. If you can, find a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Turn off any unneeded devices, alarms, or other distractions. While we're settling in, I'll tell you a little bit more about the equinox. I'll talk to you about the Nova Sutra's movement and explain a little about Agaya and Ubuntu. In a couple minutes, we'll start a guided meditation. I'll help you get into a calm, relaxed, and meditative state. Then I'll let you know the time of the equinox, and for a few minutes we'll all really focus on reverence and loving kindness, Agaya and Ubuntu, for the world. The equinox is so named because it's the time of the year when night and day are about the same length. No matter where in the world you are, the center of the sun will rise and set 12 hours apart. At 1.54 UTC on September 23rd, 2018, is the specific moment as the Earth orbits the sun when our planet's equator is angled directly at the sun. The sun will be directly overhead where it is solar noon on the equator. This puts it over the Pacific Ocean just north of Papua New Guinea. North of the tropics, today marks the end of summer and the beginning of autumn. The days are growing shorter, and in many places you can already see leaves changing colors and animals storing food or migrating in preparation for the winter to come. In the southern hemisphere, it's the end of winter and the beginning of spring. The days are growing longer, and in many places you can see things emerging from winter's rest, with new leaves and blossoms as the first harbingers for the growing seasons to come. The seasons are related to the orbit of the Earth around our sun, and how the northern and southern hemispheres are sometimes tilted toward the sun and sometimes tilted away from the sun. Nova Sutra celebrates solstices, equinoxes, and the cross quarters, the midpoints between them, because these are amazing planetary phenomena about the interaction of our home planet and our sun. We find that many religious traditions include some celebration associated with these eight key times of the year. In Nova Sutras, we're choosing these times to celebrate our two fundamental concepts, Agaya and Ubuntu. Agaya is a new term intended as an expression of the deep, sacred beauty of the universe and our reverence for it. Ubuntu is a term borrowed from South African languages that represents community and interdependence. In Nova Sutras, we expand this meaning to embrace the connections between all things, binding us all together in the more than human world with reverence, joy, generosity, gratitude, and loving kindness. The Nova Sutras movement seeks to promote Agaya and Ubuntu. We honor the principles that all of nature is sacred and should be treated with reverence and loving kindness. That change is essential, inevitable, and important in all life. That complexity and maturity emerge from cooperative relationships and that the beauty of the living world is to be savored, honored, celebrated, and protected. One of the things that make the equinoxes so important in the Nova Sutras movement is that the equinoxes are times when everyone, everywhere on earth, experiences similar things. These are the only days when the length of daylight is the same almost everywhere in the world. For everyone, everywhere, the sun rises due east and sets due west today. 
Many ancient civilizations built structures or set stones to help them locate these directions and recognize the equinox. Equinoxes are important times of change and movement. Many migrating species are on the move from north to south, following the sun. The equinox is a time when light and dark are in balance, yet changing quickly. They are the pivot points of the year, reminding us of the impermanence that defines existence. What are some things that you need to keep in balance? How can you respond to dynamic change, yet maintain the stillness you need to keep from falling? To celebrate and connect with this equinox, I'll talk you through a guided meditation. If you have started this meditation at the suggested time, I will let you know as we approach the minute of the equinox and invite you to focus very specifically at that point in time. First, to open this as sacred space, we will do a practice that Buddhists might recognize as a form of metta and practitioners of various neo-pagan or indigenous religions might recognize as calling the corners or calling the quarters. You can do this while standing and moving or just sitting and thinking, whichever is more comfortable for you right now. I like to start where the sun is now, the nearest cardinal direction from my perception. In my case in North America, it's evening, so the sun is still in the west. I'll go around the compass directions following the path of the sun, then up and down. We will acknowledge the beings that connect up and down. Then we'll start with ourselves as the center and radiate out. Please follow along out loud if you like, or just think and feel through it, considering your own location and sending your wishes out in that direction or that space. May all beings to the west abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the north abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the east abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the south abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings above me abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings beneath me abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all the great tree beings and kelp beings that connect above and below abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May I abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings nearby, all those I can reach with my senses, abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings in this watershed abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings in the surrounding habitat abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings on this continent abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings in this hemisphere abide in Agaya and Ubuntu.
May all beings in Earth's bountiful biosphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all life everywhere in the universe abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. Now you are invited to sit comfortably. Feel your connection to the earth below you, grounding and stabilizing you. Feel your connection to the sky above you, filling you with light. Once you are settled, take a deep breath in. Hold it for a moment. Now exhale slowly and completely. Inhale slowly through your nose, noticing the feeling of the air moving past your nostrils, down and into your lungs. Hold again. Now slowly release the breath. Feel how your chest and belly move and relax as you exhale. Now allow your chest and belly to expand and rise gently as you inhale. Now slowly release the breath. Take another slow, deep breath in and hold it for a moment, savoring the feeling of this breath nourishing your relaxed body. Exhale gently and slowly, inviting any tension remaining in your body to leave with your breath. Repeat this nourishing breath in. Hold it briefly and slowly exhale completely to fully release tension and cleanse your lungs. At any time we feel our minds become stressed or wandering in unhelpful directions, we can choose to return to this state of calm relaxation with just a few cleansing breaths. For now, continue to take deep, relaxing breaths as we welcome in a deeper appreciation of Ubuntu and Agaya. Ubuntu expands our awareness of connection, of interbeing. Consider those people with whom you have experienced connection. Think of people that you love, people that love you, people who at some time have shared a kindness with you, people who have shared compassion with you. Now consider other beings in the more than human world whose presence has enriched your life. Perhaps an animal has been a valued companion. A plant has beautified your home or garden. A tree has shaded you or inspired you. Perhaps you have nurtured or tended a plant or animal. Certainly, with every breath in, you take in nourishing oxygen that some plants exhaled. Then you exhale carbon dioxide that will nourish other photosynthesizers. All your food was once alive, and that life nourishes you.
This is interbeing at its deepest level. This is what we in Noga Sutras call Ubuntu. Everywhere in the world, these interconnections and interdependencies exist. As you breathe in, allow yourself to feel these connections of Ubuntu. As you breathe out, send your gratitude for them along those radiating interconnections. This gratitude to other beings with whom we share connection is just one facet of what we call Agaya. Agaya is also the deep sense of wonder we feel when we look at the structure of a leaf, when we see a bird fly gracefully overhead, when we hear the surging waves of a sea in storm, when we feel the soft caress of a cool breeze, when we smell the rich loam of the forest floor, when we gaze up into a clear night sky filled with distant stars, Agaya is our profound connection to the sacred beauty of our universe. Agaya can inspire feelings of humbleness and also feelings of expansive pride and great joy. As you slowly inhale, invite this sacred joy of Agaya into the center of your being. Hold it for a moment. Then as you release your breath, send with it your feelings of humble gratitude to spread out into the world. Inhale, wonder and joy. Exhale, gratefulness for interconnection. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Now inhale, Ubuntu. Hold that feeling of interconnection like an embrace. Then exhale, Agaya, to spread joy and wonder into the universe. Inhale, Ubuntu. Exhale, Agaya. Inhale, Ubuntu. Exhale, Agaya. Inhale, Ubuntu. Exhale, Agaya. Continue to take slow, comfortable breaths at your own pace.
The earth is traveling around the sun in a wide ellipse. The sun is traveling as well, orbiting the gravitational center of our galaxy. So the earth and other planets of our solar system move along with the moving sun, forming a beautiful path, a winding helix through space time. How does it feel to be on this lovely sphere in a spiral dance around our sun as we travel around the heart of our galaxy? How does it feel to know that every atom in your body, just as everything on earth, was once in the heart of a star that died, a star whose ashes formed our own solar system? How does it feel to know that something as simple and elegant as a leaf can capture the light from our sun and turn it into sugars, into sweetness and sustenance and the structures of life itself? In this spiral dance, we are just about to reach the place in Earth's orbit that marks the equinox. From an earthly perspective, the sun is directly overhead on the equator, specifically where it is also solar noon in the Great Pacific Ocean, just north of Papua New Guinea. Envision how that looks and feels right now. A brilliant midday sun directly over the vast blue Pacific. Were you standing on a becalmed sailboat there, the mast would cast no shadow. Imagine taking the warmth and shimmering radiance of the sun overhead and transforming it into loving kindness, into Ubuntu and a Gaia. Now imagine Ubuntu and Agaya shining forth through you, from your heart out into the world. Know that you are surrounded by community, that everyone meditating right now is there with you, that we are all radiating Ubuntu and Agaya. Together, we shine Ubuntu and Agaya across the deep and sparkling immensity of the ocean. Together, we shine Ubuntu and Agaya to every place on earth, now touched by the light of this equinox sun. Together, we shine Agaya and Ubuntu out to touch all those in the dark of night right now, all around the world. Together, we shine the light of Ubuntu and Agaya across the universe from our beautiful little home world. Together, we inhale Ubuntu and exhale Agaya. Together, we inhale Agaya and exhale Ubuntu. Extend these experiences of Agaya and Ubuntu 
and offer them as a gift to the whole world. When you are ready, you may open your eyes and allow yourself to gently return to the here and now. You should come into a state of calm attention, energized by your contemplation of Ubuntu and Agaya through the moment of the equinox. Take a moment to thank yourself for sharing in this worldwide meditation. We in the Nova Sutras community thank you for taking this step toward wellness and awareness and a vision of the world abiding in Agaya and Ubuntu. As we emerge into this new season, we will take a few moments to reflect on the season that has passed and to focus our intentions for the coming months. What are you grateful for? What are you ready to harvest now? What are you ready to leave behind? What resources can you release, making them available for new growth? What seeds are you planting for the future? What are your visions for a world abiding in a Gaia and Ubuntu? What are your intentions for moving toward that vision in the coming months. You may wish to consider these questions further and write your responses in a journal. Do you have any questions for the Nova Sutras community? Any thoughts, wishes, reflections, or intentions that you want to share? please share them in the comments below. We can support each other and hold one another accountable for working toward our intentions. Thank you for joining in this Nova Sutras Equinox celebration. Thank you for all that you do as an agent for change, Ubuntu and Agaya.